Hello awesome people, welcome to Parcel Creation video tutorial. In this video, we are going to design Save the date wedding flyer in Adobe Photoshop. No design skills required. We are going to start right at the beginning and work ourselves through to the end. So stick with me if you want to know how to apply these nice backgrounds and these flowers into your design. And please, if you are able to watch to the end, I will leave the PSD file in the description below, but there will be a password on it. So if you are able to watch to the end, then you will see the password that I will put on it and you can quickly use it in your stops. All right, without further ado, let's jump right in. So first of all, control N for a new document, then I will choose A5 and click on create. So a new canvas is going to open for me just like this. Then I'll start by bringing in my information. So with the help of the test tool, shortcut is T. So with this test, you see that when I type and I brought some at the down, some are hiding. So control A to select all of them. Just control A to select all of them and open your character tool. Mine is here. But if you don't have it, don't worry, go to window, then select character. Then you will see this leading or the spacing. So you can increase the spacing just using your arrow keys. Just select inside and use your arrow keys to increase the speeding. When you are done or when you are satisfied, just click on the mark here or click on enter to accept changes. All right, so I'll finish up with the test very soon. I want to use the same test to and type something here also. So what I can do to achieve this is that I'll make a copy of this. So to make a copy, just, just simply hold your Alt key on the keyboard and you see that the arrows becomes two. Click and drag over it and with the help of your Shift tool to keep your moving in the same line and you see that you have gotten the same thing at the left side. So, so I'll double click on it and add the other note. And also, if you type something and you want to make it a line center, just select all of them. Control A to select all of them and you see that you have the alignment at the top. Just click on that and it will align perfectly in the center for you. Alright, so I have finished typing all the tests. So what I can do now is select this one, choose the font that I want to use for this one particular. Let me use this type of font and I will leave a link that you can use to download the same font. I would like to align all the tests in the center. I will click and drag over it. Then I will click and drag over this one too. So you see that I didn't select this one because when I try to align it and try it's going to combine so uh, let me do this one first go to select select or then i'll align center when you are done then go to select and deselect all of that so let me select this one and align center for you to see you see that when i align center this is what i'm going to get so before that select all of them control g to group all of them into one layer so you see that this one is in the layer so when i go to select select or an align center you see that it is in a group that's why it didn't uh, combine or it didn't come together all right so from there this select the selection and i'll go to my source file which i'm going to leave it in the description below for you to follow along easily then i will click and drag this into photoshop click on enter to accept changes and I'll move this one all the way to the last layer before the background. And I can increase this, all right, to fill the whole canvas or the whole document. 
with this background selector, I can lock this one and I can move this one down a bit. Then I would like to change the font color of this to something like this. So all the layers selected and I will use the eyedropper tool to make a sample color. Then I will drag to deepen it well. Alright, so something like this is very okay. Then from here, I'll go to my salt part again, bring in my flower too. Then I will leave this one also in Photoshop. Then with this, I will scale this to fill the canvas just like this. Then click on enter to accept changes. Then this one also, I'll move it all the way down before the background. Alright, so what we can do here is that we can add a hue and saturation layer. Then we can change the colors of the flower if you would like to. So you can choose any color that you prefer to use. Alright, so for me, let me, let me maintain the old one. Alright, so from here I can select the whole text by selecting the group one and select the last one. Then I can increase the size a bit and bring it down a bit like this. Alright, so from here we are going to make it presentable so that we can share around the social media. So control N for a new document, then I will use A5 but I will change from millimeters to inches and I'll add two inches to each size. <laughs> Click on create. Then from here, I'll select the group one. So from here, click on shift, control, alt plus E to merge all the layer so that you can get a stamp visible layer. Then I'll move it to the new document we just created. Then from here, I can align center, control A to select all. Then I'll just align it using the alignment options at the top. Then from here, control D to deselect the selection. And we are going to get something like this. All right. All right, so from here, select the background layer and select your paint bucket to at the two side. So that is G. Then click once at the background and we are going to get effect like this. All right, so from here I can add this shadow which I have made for you to simply speed up your work. So if you want me to make a tutorial on how you can get this same, how you can do the same effect for yourself, just leave me a comment. And please, if you want a wedding invitation card or a flyer like this, you can order for some at Fiverr. I will leave my link in the description below or pick my email. Let's chat there and know how we can go about it. Then from here, click on enter to apply changes. Then I will change the blending mode from normal to multiply. All right, so you can go through and see what works best for you. But for me, multiply does the whole work. Then I can increase this size. Control T for free transform. And I can increase the size of it. And you can also move it down a bit if you want to show the a little blacks at the top. But for me, let me move it up. All right, so see how nice it is. If the shadow is too much for you and you want to reduce it, you can reduce the opacity just by dragging over it and it will be reduced for you. But for me, this one works perfectly fine for me. Alright, so this is how you can go about designing a wedding flyer in Photoshop. And please, the password that I will leave on the source file is going to be wedding 
So let me see what I type. So it's going to be exactly the same thing. So please, you can use this password to download the soft file and you can get access to everything. So let me save it for you to see that. I'm going to leave it for you. So control S to save. Then I will choose the location where I want to save this. And so I first save it as a PSD file. Then let me save the main way. Control S, wedding, main, then save as PSD file. Then let me save this one as image, change to JPEG. You can just select JPEG so that you can share it on social media. Then I can save this one as JPEG also. But this one I choose save as because we have already saved the work and we can't save it again unless we save us. And I'll choose JPEG for this. So let me see. So open for location and see hola. This is it. Alright, so I'm going to create a real raw. Then I'll set the password wedding. So you see, I have tied the wedding in front of you. So encrypt the file name, then click on enter, enter. So I'm creating the real raw file for the PSD files. So please, you see, it came as project because the folder I'm working in is a project. So let me open. And you see that it says enter password. So when I enter the wording and click on enter, the PSD file is going to open for me. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and share with your friends who want to learn Photoshop. All right. See you next time and look at your screen. The two videos you pick for you to enjoy next. We love you. Let's go.